Howdy y'all. Hi guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From RNA Music. That's right. Favorite mom pop guitar shop music lesson studio deep in the heart of Texas. That's my thing. Oh, sorry. Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> That's where we're at <laughs> right now, actually. And it's time for another episode of Ask RNA. Mm -hmm. where Angela's gonna give you some really good advice. Always. And I'm gonna answer the phone. It's that time of day. This is what happens when you do it in the morning. It was just an automated call, not even a real person. Those I are hate so those. annoying. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Welcome back to Ask RNA. This is episode 321. Yes. Because last time was 320. It's mm -hmm. 321. It's Friday for us right now. September beard 17th. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we are your lovely host today for some questions that get answered. Um, I, see, the phone call threw me off in my group. What do I normally do? I know. Do a lot of stuff. All right, so we and Angela, we own a little music shop. We teach music lessons every week mm -hmm. to people. I was gonna say kids, but it's kids and adults mm -hmm. who want to learn to play music. All ranges. And we sell some guitars and stuff and things sometimes as well. So about as mom and pop as you can really get mm -hmm. this whole thing. And uh, now it's another episode of Ask Our Name. We've been doing this a few years, yes. a couple of years answering questions. We're gonna get to some questions right now. So get your comment and fingers ready so you can uh, Join in on the discussion. All right. First question comes from Sinner's Dwarf. Have you ever sold a guitar then seen it pop up for sale again years later being tempted to buy it back? My Epiphone Les Paul Zach Wild Camo just popped up for sale on eBay Marketplace. I think I sold it in 2012. I know it's my old one because of the hardware change and the description of dirt in the neck binding. You mean like this? Like this, you, want, you have one of these, and you sold it, Sinner's Dwarf. You sold it. This is the coolest Zach guitar they ever made, in my humble opinion. Hmm. Ever, ever. I finally got one. It took me forever to find one at a reasonable price. Yeah. Um, are you, the question, Sinner's Dwarf, is are you gonna buy it back? Are you gonna buy it back? That's what I wanna know. Mm -hmm. Now, have I ever, I have not, I've never sold one of my personal guitars mm -hmm. and seen it pop back up for sale. Um, and there's only a couple, actually. There's only a few that I've sold that I'd be like, oh man, <laughs> should have should have kept that. I'm gonna get that. Mm -hmm. And that would be my very first guitar, which is a Tok Mini GZ300 electric guitar. Oh um, yeah, man, I always kick myself for that. And then I did have an Epiphone Les Paul like limited edition, made in Korea, trans black, of course, black hardware. I've gone and looked that one up to find out exactly what model it was. Mm -hmm. See if I can locate one, but but no, I, I have not of any of my personal guitars. Now, I have had sold guitars, I have had guitars from the shop mm -hmm. that I've sold and that someone turned around like immediately, <laughs> like two days after they got it and they were selling it on Reverb, mm -hmm. which I appreciate them. You know, it was like they purchased it and they got it. And they're like, oh man, uh, it was the neck wasn't quite for me. I'm gonna sell it mm -hmm. instead of like trying to return it because you get, you know, it's just return shipping and restocking fees and all that kind of stuff. So you know, I did see that happen, but it was just strictly because the neck was not. Maybe when they too, got it in their, their hands, it wasn't. Anything. Yeah, when they got it in their hands, they're like, oh no, yeah. But they listed it for sale, but that was not one of my personal guitars, like in your situation. So mm -hmm. I have not really ever had that happen. Yeah, but it, I mean, he saw a personal guitar, but he didn't ask you if it was personal. Yeah, no. Yeah, so you did kind of. Yeah. In a roundabout way. In a roundabout way, but not, I was not tempted to buy it back. Yeah. At all, because it wasn't, it wasn't one of, you Something know, that like mine. You like, had oh, emotionally man. invested yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. it was just, it was just store product, store inventory. Right. 
I'm not emotionally attached to store inventory the way not I am. All the time. To my own sometimes. guitars. Sometimes. A little bit. Sometimes store inventory becomes my inventory, but mm -hmm. and then I'm attached to it. But yeah. There you go. Thanks for the question, Sinners Dwarf. Have you guys and gals ever sold a guitar and then seen or it? Or just equipment. Or anything. And then seen mm -hmm. it pop back up for sale and been tempted to rebuy it. That's what he said. He was tempted to buy it back. Mm -hmm. Alright, thanks for the question, Sinners Dwarf. Next question, fat. Philosopher, hashtag why, I don't know. <laughs> Top five female guitarists you recommend giving a listen to? Mm. Mm, I like Melina Moye, Nita Strauss, Lisa X, Sophie Lloyd, and Texas' own Ariel Hartley of Pearl Earl Music. All right. Nice. Great question, fat philosopher. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really listen to any female guitarist like per se like mm -mm. you know like hey you gotta check this girl out she's a female she plays guitar go check it out yeah i don't have like a top five female mm -mm. list yeah nor do i right well now of course uh what's her name from heart mm -hmm. crap what's her name yeah i just went brain i did too you, if you would have i went brain said, fuzzy been listening to their th albums like back to back like wilson Ann was no Ann's the singer. Yeah. Nancy? Is it Nancy? Oh my gosh. The blonde. Now I have to look it up. Nancy Wilson. I, I was, was right. Wilson. I was, was like Nancy. Wilson. I knew the Nancy for some reason. Mm -hmm. How about that? So it's just, she's great, obviously. You that, got Nancy, I got Wilson. You got the <laughs> Wilson, I got the Nancy. <laughs> I said Nancy Wilson. Mm -hmm. After you said Hart. Mm -hmm. I said Ann, but that's the singer. But anyways. Mm -hmm. She's one of the first ones that sort of springs to mind. It's like, oh, check that out. I mean, obviously wrote iconic music right mm -hmm. she's written and played songs that everybody knows mm -hmm. right so i think she's she stands apart um nita strauss was one of the other ones i'm like oh, i watched enough youtube things about nita like her doing interviews she mm -hmm. did an interview with ola and you know plays for alice cooper you know and like i don't i don't have any music i haven't bought any of nita's like i don't have any of her singles of her own music and stuff i'm just i just recognize that she's a great female guitarist um yeah. for the most part i don't really necessarily pay attention who's playing i just listen to the music mm -hmm. so i don't i you know you could i mean in most bands i would be like oh that's a girl drummer or that oh that guy is i didn't know that guy was a black guy or like i don't notice yeah i don't pay attention even if i'm looking if the band's right in front of me honestly i'm not paying attention to the people on the stage i'm listening like I listen and I like to pick apart the music and listen to the vocals and I'm looking at in other places. That's how I enjoy music. I don't look at the people because sometimes their showmanship mm -hmm. or what they're doing. Um, if they're just looking around and they're doing other things, I get distracted and then I'm not listening to the music anymore. So half the time I wouldn't even notice if they had a guy in a clown costume up there. <laughs> Honestly, because I'm listening literally just to the music. Yeah, so you're sometimes more... my head is down and I'm just listening to the music. I look bored, but I'm I'm actually enjoying. That's just how I enjoy music. But so I could. Run -na 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 -na. It was either a Honda or a Texas motorcycle. <laughs> um, but yes, I couldn't tell you if if there was any female guitarist in any because i just honestly don't pay attention yeah i mean i'm aware of a lot of them like jennifer batten who played you know with michael jackson of course yeah uh, unless it's just like blatant oh wow they're <clears throat> right there in front like heart they're always those two are like right up front next to each other so you can kind of and they're a, a girl band so. yeah that, no i kind of like set heart a size its own thing you yeah because they're like you know, a the lot grandmas of grandmas <laughs> of the granny rock. It's <laughs> granny rock. Oh my god, <laughs> they are. We're old. I mean, but you know, but I mean, they wrote songs that were, you know, it wasn't about look how look at that girl shred. That's so weird. Yeah, it's like that's. I mean, look at that girl play guitar. She wrote some epic songs that have transcended decades of time. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole other thing. And then say, like, so you know, Nita's kind of a, a higher gun. Mm -hmm. You know, for Alice, would does not take away from how amazing and how great she is as a player, you know, but that's kind of two different, in my mind, that's kind of two different things. And of course, you got Orianthe that, are, you know, when she came out, everybody's yeah. like, what? Look at this girl. She's crazy. Of course, now she's like old, er, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but I haven't paid attention to her since her the first record. Is gone. Yeah, you know, I mean, I see, because I pay attention to guitar stuff and YouTube and like the guitar industry so i see her popping up in here and like oh there's an interview with orianthi about blah 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 you know mm -hmm. 
you know, so it's kind of like, yeah, she's great. I don't, I still don't think I own any of her music that she's written personally. So it's, mm -hmm. we own some heart songs in my, in my iTunes selection of songs. I have some of that stuff. I have three of their albums. I like Jen Majura who plays for Evanescence now. She's the guitar player in Evanescence. Not necessarily because her guitar playing is, have you seen Jen? She's so sick. But just because she's funny and she's always stalking Ola. <laughs> And like every like every Ola England video, she's like, "Hey, Ola," and he did a coffee coffee with Ola, where he talked to Jen, and it's so just her personality mm -hmm. and being That's involved funny. in YouTube and mm -hmm. active in the YouTube guitar scene is like she's funny and obviously can play, you know. But it's it's not like, oh man, these people are amazing. So uh, Sophie Lloyd, I recognize because there was that uh, she was the one. I think she was the one who was playing a lot of this um, Guthrie Govan stuff, and she's just ripping it out. I'm like, okay, now that's like, that's amazing because she's just like mm -hmm. playing some crazy difficult stuff. I think that's her, you know, yeah. and, and that's the one I'm definitely. I haven't seen anything from her in years. Yeah, like stayed on top of what she's going with, but yeah. But that's, I mean, that's what's, and then what's her face? Who has the song? Who has the band? She has a Gibson Explorer. She's the singer. You had an old lady who wanted to learn one of her songs. Um, I can't remember her name now. Hailstorm, Lizzie Hale. Yeah. Okay. Lizzie Hale, because she's kind of like that. Yeah, she that plays was guitar. A long time ago, but yeah. Well, she's still <laughs> she's still a thing. But well, you taught that to one of her songs to mm -hmm. somebody a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Now she actually has signature guitars with Gibson, but she also is a singer and rips it up. You know, mm -hmm. again, I don't own any Hailstorm songs on my phone yeah. or anything, but I'm like, oh yeah, it's pretty great. She's kind of following in the tradition of heart, really, which mm -hmm. is kind of neat, but I'm like, I still don't own any of her music. But those are those are some women who play guitar. Mm -hmm. Now what is interesting is now there are more and more, more and more young ladies uh, who are learning guitar. Like a significant amount of our students are young ladies learning to play guitar, and then someone will play strummy strum chords and Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. and a lot of them are like, can we learn some Black Sabbath? Mm -hmm. Can I learn some Led Zeppelin? I'm like, yes, you can. So there are more and more and more uh, ladies, young ladies, taking up the guitar, and I think I think that bodes well for the future of guitar. And I think I think five to ten years, you're going to see even more amazing yeah, women certain. guitar players, especially in that that rock vein and right. that kind of thing. So yep. yeah. thanks for the question, Fat Philosopher. Next question, just fun guitar. Hashtag KTMA. Hashtag why I don't know. Mm -hmm. Great episode, and thank you as always for the answers. New question, what would be the best hybrid animal combo for each of you, and which would be the scariest? Hmm. What hybrid animal combo would describe you the best, Angela? I don't know. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Um, tiger eagle. A tiger eagle. Isn't that just a griffin? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay, there. You're a griffin. Why is that? Um, You're definitely a tigress. Yeah. I, I like eagles because they're majestic, and and I, I consider them more wise and more aggressive. Um, with, they could fight when they got to, but they, yes. know, they know I was out trying to prove themselves. Right. So they have... Other than owls. Owls aren't... I don't understand why they became like the Im image of wisdom. Mm -hmm. But I think eagles are very very wise and very very intelligent creatures so, and they'll wreck you and the, yes and they will tear you up <laughs> i like how they'd like kick their children out of the nest and just like watch them fall get it and if they see them fail they go and swoop them and get, get them back up before they actually fall and, and die mm -hmm. um i love that i, I like love, how they kill snakes i like yeah i like how they kill snakes i like how they go and like dive into water and like grab their prey out of the water and just take off with it. It's so awesome. Yeah. Um, and they're just giant and they're, they're just gorgeous. And even if they're maimed, they're still like very proud. They're just like, so mm. what missing eye? <laughs> you know, I don't I'm care. I'm still going to get you I'm my still other gonna, eye. Yeah, exactly. I still got one working one. What? I still got two claws. And, uh, <laughs> and tigers, same. You don't mess with them. They are literally yeah. they're loners, but they also defend their territory and the and the area that they're in. They don't overconsume. They don't unnecessarily kill. They are very 
very <laughs> they are very purposeful in their motions and their and everything like that is I don't know they're just really cool when we went to the zoo a couple weeks ago I took the the boys to the zoo and they had two white tigers at the Tyler Zoo and they were out and cracker were, tigers and they were and they were so cool um, one just kind of sat there at the back and was just staring at the <laughs> At the glass and there was this man he was like that's kind of intimidating because it was just like a giant I mean the tiger was just giant Huge. and the other one the, the female was just pacing back and forth kind of looking at everything so I just thought that was really cool like, y'all lucky the glass here yeah yeah there were no honestly, glass here humans honestly we'd be we'd be done in it's bad. but I like that so yeah tiger eagle yeah yeah a tiger eagle mm -hmm. I would be a lion bear yeah a lion bear that makes the most sense to me mm -hmm. I think because I like to hibernate I like to eat I like honey mm -hmm. I do like honey yeah I don't like fish really but um, no mm -hmm. uh, yeah I and like that my descriptions are all like this like things and you're like food <laughs> I like to sleep <laughs> sleep I like being comfortable. Um, honey is I like a being good one for me. I'm kind of fluffy. Because I got a rumbly in my tumbly. I got a rumbly tumbly. in my tumbly. And <laughs> like grizzly bear. Okay, not like a little black bear. A little black bear. Black bears will mess you up. Not I'm a koala bear. You. Koala bears will like razor blade you too. So, but I'm like grizzly bear lion. Right. Because right. lions are pretty red. I mean, they're the, they're the kings of the I mean, jungle. Although the tigers could probably take lions. I don't, you know, really, if it came down to a civil war. <laughs> the tigers could probably yeah. take out the lions. I don't know about the lionesses. Right, I was about to say probably yeah, be lionesses. Lionesses would jack up a yeah, tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the but, king, the king tiger. Yeah, which just you know so funny to me. I've got a mane. I'm just like you know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You like connect, you connect. Grizzly, grizzly tiger. Bear. A grizziger. Mm -hmm. I'd be a grizziger. Grizzian. He said lion. <laughs> oh, lion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. You're yeah. Grizzion. Mm -hmm. uh, a Lizzie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a Lizzie. would be literally a Brian or a Ryan. <laughs> I'd be a Brian. <laughs> Brian. Ryan means a little king. So, you know, king of the jungle. Kind of stuff, so. yep. <laughs> Great question, Jess Fun Guitar. If you guys could be a hybrid of any two animals, what would it be? Mm -hmm. And don't say shark orca because that's just horrifying. That's just wrong. Yeah. Thanks for the question. Jeffrey Schroeder. I guess he would be the scariest. Probably you. <laughs> Probably Angela would be the scariest. Because Grizzly Bear is just like, I'm chilling. I mean, I'll mm -hmm. fight you, but I'd, I'd rather just chill and eat. I'd rather not. Ignore me, I'll ignore you. And Lions are <laughs> like, I mean, I'll fight you. I'll, I'll kill me some hyenas, but I got some girls. I'll just stand there and I got some ladies. You until I got some ladies who'll go out and get some, you know, kill them for me. Right. But I'll do it if I got to. If I got to step <laughs> in, I will take care of business. So. That is so appropriate. It is. <laughs> so I think, you know, I think I think that's, you're definitely the scariest. <laughs> All right, next question. Jeffrey Schroeder. Sorry if this has already been asked, but us being huge Metallica fans, what's your thoughts on the Blacklist? Why? I don't know. Hashtag. What do you think about Blacklist? You, you, you watched it? What is it about being a Metallica fan that has to do with Blacklist? Mm-hmm. What are the two? I don't understand. You used to watch that show all the time. Yeah, I know. No, I know. It's not about the TV show. That's what I thought. I was, I was like, like, what's this blacklist? What are I mean, you talking Angel about? used to watch that all the time. <laughs> That's not what I love blacklist, yeah. They just celebrate the anniversary of the Black Album. Okay. It's a big, huge <clears> box <throat> release thing. Me. And then they have this thing called the Blacklist, which mm -hmm. is uh, like an album of all of these bands covering Metallica. Like, there's ghosts playing the Metallica songs. And I'm like a big famous fan. So I was like... I don't even know what that is. I haven't even seen that. I was thinking what was weird, Jeffrey, is because I literally, like two weeks ago, just got a CD in the mail from Kenny Rogers. Mm -hmm. Not the country singer, but Ken Rogers sent me this thing. And it's called The Faces of Metallica. And it's like a three-disc thing. Two discs are bands and artists covering Metallica songs. And then the mm -hmm. third disc was the bands that influenced, you know, tracks from the bands that influenced Metallica, like Motorhead and... Um, Oh gosh, who were some of the other ones? I don't remember. King Diamond, you know, stuff like that. All, mm -hmm. all the bands that influenced Metallica. So I was thinking, so I literally just got a double CD thing of all these artists, all of which I've never heard of. So that's, I guess that would be the difference. On the Blacklist, it's like a buttload of like 
famous bands and artists covering mm -hmm. Metallica songs. Mm -hmm. And the disc that I have is unknown bands that have been out. Some of those, some of those songs I had to track them now. They've actually been out for like six or seven years, mm -hmm. and they just compiled them into into that. So um, I haven't checked out Blacklist, but I have been listening to the Many Faces of Metallica or whatever it is. Yeah. And a couple of them I really like. There's this like, sort of countryfied, countryfied hillbilly version of. Uh, Frayed ends of sanity. It's not hillbilly. It's like, you know, it's like almost like a Texas country, country just dude, dirt, and a, country. dude and acoustic. Red dirt. Yeah, it's like a red dirt version of, or Texas country version of Frayed ends of sanity, which I thought was, oh, that's really cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. And then the blackened version of it was really good. And some of them are like, the music starts out really good. I'm like, yeah, all right, I like this. And then the singer starts I'm like, oh, oh man, crap. I don't like your voice, or I don't like this singer. Mm. The musicians are playing the music great because the music's dun, dun, great. Dun. <laughs> so, but I have not checked out Blacklist, and you know maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. I've just been through a Metallica phase, anyways, and listening to a bunch of stuff. But yeah. uh, you know, I don't. I might check it out. I did listen to the one the Ghost covered one of their songs. Everybody's like, hey, you gotta check out this version of Ghost playing this Metallica song. I'm like, all right, let me go. I was like, it was okay. It was alright. I didn't. I didn't like it as much as some of this other covers from these unknown people doing Metallica. Mm -hmm. I think that was better, honestly. But people aren't talking about that. Yeah. Thank you for the question, Jeffrey. Oh, it's time for the most exciting part of this video: comment of the day. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> comment of the day. You know, I'm going to use my Metallica. Oh, you can't see it. Never mind, it can't say. I'm gonna use my White Fang. I see that. White Fang, James Hetfield guitar pick. Mm -hmm. For comment of the day, where this is where Angela and I read the comment of the day, emotionless and just flat faced. Mm -hmm. No, that's not what we've been doing. We've been writing some music and singing comment of the day. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed last week's comment of the day. With okay. the bass. I think you did great. Okay. Today, we're not gonna do anything fancy, we're just gonna play guitar. Guitar. <coughs> see if I can do this. Uh, with can't see the guitar. A scratchy in the... throat. <coughs> Since we just talked about Metallica, I kind of feel like a. Oh gosh. You're like I don't. I don't know how going to work. So oh, what we do? I'm going to play so something. Mm -hmm. I have been strummy strumming chords, <coughs> and Angela sings "Comment of the Day." So I have not thought. The only thing I did think is like you know I haven't done this in drop D yet. So we're gonna try something and drop D, see what happens. Comment of the day. Ooh, this kind of works out. Fantastic, all right, here we okay. go. Sorry. That was too much. <laughs> Comment of the day. Fat Philosopher. No way in a million years can Solar guitars do it. No custom shop. No custom shop. That was, we were commenting last week about the dime guitars leaving and suing Dean and who's going to make the new dime guitars. And of course, Solar's not going to do it. But, uh, you know, no custom shop. Well, true, but, um,. I don't, I don't think that really matters. I, think the, I don't think the majority of the sales are not USA Custom Shop guitars. Mm -hmm. Like if you look at all of Wild Audio's guitars, they're, they're all Korean made guitars. I mean, yes, Schecter handles the manufacturing and they could build in the Schecter Custom Shop, they could build a USA Wild Audio guitar, I suppose. But uh, that's, not, that's not what sells. And even I would go far to say that on the EVH line of stuff, uh, none of the EVH amps are made in America. That's all overseas stuff. And even though there are probably some USA made EVHs, I would say that 98.9% of all the EVH guitars are sold are not made in America. Custom shop guitars. Mm. They do have a couple. For $15,000 you can have the exact copy of, you know, Eddie's thing. But So, I don't, I don't think that, that's not the reason Solar can't do it. My opinion is Solar can't pay 
Rita what they're used to getting paid for advertising and stuff like that. It has more to do with that. Mm -hmm. But uh, <clears throat> I stand by my thoughts. They're going to start their own thing, um, you know, and have their own brand. Anyways, yeah. comment of the day, Fat Philosopher. Thank you so much. Next question, Adam Lynch. Oh, wait, before Adam Lynch, commercial time. If you want an Arnie Music t-shirt like this one, what are you wearing? What shirt are you wearing? Ryan Loves Angela. It says, Ryan Loves Angela. You, you can't buy that one. That's not in the shop. That's custom made. Uh, but if you want an Arnie Music shirt, go down and link in the description of this video mm -hmm. to our Teespring store and you can get you some Arnie Music swaggity swag t-shirt, cuppy cup. Somebody ordered a cuppy cup. Nice. That was pretty rad. Some yeah, socks, out of there, some leggings, some LuLaRue RNA leggings. No, <laughs> no that's that. not. It's not LuLaRue. <laughs> this is not. We're not doing that. Let's get you some RNA swaggy swag. If you want to, the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. If you want to support what we do as a small business, that's a great, easy way to do it. Get you a T-shirt or a hoodie because it's Ooh, September. It's almost hoodie season. It's September now. Not it's still hot in Texas, but uh, you know. Get your hoodie. All right, now next question. Adam Lynch, hashtag KTMA, hashtag why? I don't know. I've been suffering from a severe case of amplifier gas to the point of trying to find a solution to serve as some type of switch. So if I want to change amps, heads, or cabs, I don't have to stop and reroute everything to another unit. Do you use any kind of switching system? I've looked at several from KME, but they're just so expensive. I've seen some signal splitters, but I would worry about differences in impedance or signal degradation. Any mm -hmm. thoughts? Oh, okay, Adam. Well, I don't have an extensive amp collection the way people like Ryan, Bruce, Fluff mm -hmm. has six Mesa Boogie amps at least and everything else. And then like Ola has a whole plethora of amps right. and he's always switching between them. I have seen people try to address this where like, let's say you have, you know, six different amp heads on a shelf showing off, rubbing it in people's faces, Tone King, mm -hmm. and that you want to run them all through like one cab. <coughs> How do you switch between all these different heads right. into one cab? And there are solutions for that I've seen, but as you said, they're very expensive mm -hmm. to my knowledge. And then there was a point, there was a company that we used to work with that was uh, trying to come up with a product to kind of solve that problem, but I don't think they ever did. Um, they had a Kickstarter for it and then it never, it never really worked out. Mm -hmm. So that's not something I personally need right now. Mm -hmm. So I haven't looked real deep into that and I don't have any good answers for you on this because I don't, it seems like the best solutions to that problems are what you've already suggested that are generally kind of Kind of pricey. So, you know, if it comes to that point where you do have a lot of amps and you want to switch between them, maybe you just kind of got to bite the bullet and go with the, maybe the KME stuff. So I have a few amps, but I just, each one of them is wired to its own speaker cabinet and I just plug into that amp mm -hmm. and turn it on and there I'm good to go. But I'm not constantly switching between two different amps really. Thank you for your question, Adam Lynch. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> Anybody else who has some great advice for that for Adam, please leave it down as a comment to how to solve that problem of switching back and forth between a bunch of amps willy nilly random without having right, to right. cable, cable, cable. Um, my solution just buy a speaker cabinet for every amp. There you go. Walking Dead, next question. Hashtag why? I don't know. He watched the whole video mm -hmm. along with other people. If you had to choose between burgers, pizza, or tacos, which would you pick? I know which one Angela's picking. Do you now? I do. Mm, burgers. Tacos. You say burgers, but in your heart, you're like tacos. <laughs> no, it's tacos. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? I know you. It's always tacos. It's always tacos. Just <laughs> buy me tacos and tell me I'm pretty. That's... I can live off of just corn tortillas. <laughs> like, all my life. Like, my go-to snack is just like, I get little street taco corn tortillas. Street tacos. And just... Heat them up, put a little butter on them, heat them up, and just dip it in salsa and eat it. That's, that's, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, the tacos. question is, are you I'm talking about. I'm going to actually probably go get some tacos here. Are you talking about like bit. today for lunch or like for the rest of all time? For the rest of all time, if, if I could literally live without pizza and burgers forever. If you had tacos. Forever. You would trade if them had, for tacos. Yeah, if I had the option of the three. Yeah, because here's the thing with tacos. Let me explain. 
Let me, let let me, me sum up. up. Yeah. So with each, actually with each thing, if you picked burgers, you can have a taco burger. So you can have it with the cilantro and the onions and the seasoned beef as taco meat. You could do that and make it like a taco burger. You can have a pizza burger where you can do pepperonis and marinara sauce and mozzarella cheese and make it a burger that's like a pizza. Yeah. Pizza, same thing. So really, you're not going to really miss out on either one if you do because there are pizzas that are like hamburger. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger pizza. 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 Even Domino's has one with mustard and ketchup on it. Pickles, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's horrible. Um, and then they have a taco pizza where it's the same thing with the something should blah, blah, blah. be done. Though. And then, but tacos, it doesn't really go either way. I mean, you could, but really, should you? So, I mean, so you could have pepperoni tacos. You could do, you could do, you know, quesadillas, but that's not the same as tacos. So, tacos, tacos, tacos. <clears throat> Which one am I gonna pick? Pizza. You got that right. <laughs> pizza. Pizza all day long. All day, every day. I love pizza. We both love burgers. Like, if it's oh, a yeah. Whataburger. Oh, we eat some burgers. We do yeah, have burgers. But I'd rather have tacos. I'd rather have I, pizza. Yeah. Unfortunately, the way our day. town is set up, <laughs> the good tacos, well, the good tacos are on the same side, but you don't eat tacos like I eat tacos. So. I don't it's eat hard. real tacos. Yeah. I eat Tex-Mex tacos. Yes, he likes like taco casa tacos that are like homemade tacos. You know, like or you, like what I had for breakfast house. this morning, tacos. Yes, exactly. I had homemade tacos for breakfast. So because we do, we usually keep almost always some kind of taco meat in the fridge cooked because I cook a lot of it. So we can have ground hamburger beef, not not you yep. know. Barbacoa, and low carb stuff. tortillas. And yes, and low carb tortillas. But um, but yeah. So unfortunately, we usually just get burgers because it's quick and easy. It's just quick and easy. But anyways, yeah, tacos. Yeah. Tacos for Lala. Pizza for Mama. All right. Thank you, Walking Dead. Next question, Barb Mel. Question: If someone offered you a contract for some studio work, would that interest you, even if you had to close your shop for a while? Hashtag why? I don't know. Um, hmm. It depends on how much money. Yeah. I was like, uh... It depends on the money. Like, yeah. everyone's like, <laughs> hey, we'll give you a million dollars to come work in this studio it for It wouldn't six even have months. to be that much. If they, if we, if to close down the shop for maybe like, you know, three months, I would say three. Three months, because I doubt it would take us that long in studio work. But three months. It would literally have to be, I would say, three to four times the amount we would make in three months. Yeah, well, that's true. You know, I would say however much we make on all the facets of everything that we do, because it's not just the shop. Right. Because we have many income streams coming in. So I would it, say many. You have some. People are going to think, my God, they're rich. It's like, no, they're not rich. No, I'm talking about like an extra $200 here and extra this $200 makes $200 a month. Yeah. This makes $200 a month. This nothing, makes nothing big. People. But yeah, yeah. Um, Got but my old, I'm just my saying, old though, check from my Texas oil rig coming in. Every yeah, rare. Yeah. Right. Herdy dirt. Um, so, with all those different things coming in, it would say for three months, it would have to be enough, like three to four, I would say four times the amount. So, it could be like a year's worth of salary. Oh, well, yeah. In that time period, to make up for yeah, but then because the we is, would lose, we would probably but there's, lose students. There's the thing because that session work is going to end. Mm -hmm. At some point, that session work is going to end, and then what am I going to do? If I have not taught for three to six months, we've lost all of our students, and then I have to start back from zero, building a mm -hmm. student base. So yeah, because those kids are going to go somewhere else. Yeah, in that time I mean it's like so. they're not. Gonna, yeah, we'll just stop. We'll just stop playing for three to six months until you're ready to come back. Yeah, unless we set up like a video session where like oh no you're gonna get you're gonna get lessons but that's a lot of work then videos. that's like having two jobs yeah so it's like so that's why i said a million dollars yeah for a million dollars i'll come you know do some session work for six months yeah that way you know there's plenty of money left over to go all right now i gotta re-kickstart all my student programs mm -hmm. stuff, we're back so. guys you know type thing yeah so yeah there you go that's our answer there you go thanks that was a good question, question though. that was a great question Really good. Although it's easier, you think. it's easier to, nowadays because I have a friend who does session work. And that's mm -hmm. what he does. He used to teach lessons and stuff. Now, but he does it from his house. Mm. People, are, hey, you need a mandolin on the song. He's like, all right, records it and sends mm -hmm. them the WAV file, and there you go. 
You know what's a new thing now? I've been tacos with pepperonis. Yes, um, <laughs> that is like a new job opportunity. I'm looking into it. We haven't talked about this. You're gonna. I'm gonna introduce it right. You're now. gonna tell them yeah. before you tell me. Oh, I think it's really cool because some people, because I might never do it. Donating plasma. But it's something that someone who's listening. Of course, we don't know y'all. Um, but anyways, so it is on Amazon because they do um, audio books mm -hmm. and audio certain things that are just audio. They hire people to record from their homes <coughs> and send in the audio. Like voiceover stuff? Yeah. Like you could just read through just regular books because, you know, someone is reading those, are, are reading those books. So... And, but there's such a huge demand. There's so many books. How do you take every single one of these books and create an audiobook out of yeah. it? Yeah. Huh. And so Amazon, like right now, like it's a big thing. Like Amazon is hiring people like good, good money to be the audio ver voice of, like there's a lady that she quit her lawyer job. Yeah. Created a little studio out of a closet in her room. And in her house, like it was like a pantry closet that she goes in. There's lights and like the, she got her husband to put the air condition, but it's not like mm -hmm. a fan type sound because our air conditioner would it's drown loud. out yeah. the sound. <laughs> but it's like this little it. sound booth that they created inside of her and she just sits there and reads. And then, and then of course she edits it to where it, it's not no mess ups and stuff like that. And she sends it to Amazon and they send her like a thousand dollar check. Why are you telling them this? <laughs> because it's, why there's you, so why many. Why you tell me first? Because honestly, we all know this, and that's people say that about us. Like when you give information about starting a music, are you worried? I was like, because no, I'm not worried because most people won't do the work. Ninety nine percent of people are not gonna do it. Most people won't do the work. Most people are like, oh, that's a good idea. I'll pass that information along because I'm already satisfied with my job. I don't need that, and I don't have that kind of time. So let me give that information to somebody else. And even that person that they give that information to more than likely won't do it because it takes a lot of work. Yeah, everything so, takes work. Yeah. And time. But anyways, I just thought that was really interesting. That is interesting. Mm hmm Because we. Have, I mean, like I'm like seriously. Because we have the equipment to do that. Because I've had many people, even though I have like a little bit of a country accent, and you don't hear it until you hear my voice recorded, really. Um, or I don't hear it until I hear my voice recorded. Um, people who've heard my podcast are like, you have a really great speaking voice. Like, it's very soothing. It's like I'm talking to a girlfriend. And I thought, that would be great if I could do, like, women's books and and it just be me. Yeah. Like, I think it'd be cool. Because I, yeah. I have a deep enough register voice that it's not annoying. audibly annoying. It's not screechy. Yeah. So you don't have that high pitch, like, great. I got it from my dad. Yeah. My dad has a really great speaking voice. He does. That would be good for dad. <gasps> Shut the right door. He would love it. And that's all he does. He loves books. He loves like to read. if you went saw his their bedroom, my mom She's not she's not, she's excited. not happy about it. But it is, it, it is infringed on their in their house. But anyways, I thought that was cool. So That is okay. We should talk we're gonna talk more about this later. Yes, we are. Yay! Hey, <laughs> thank you, Barb Mill. Final question. So excited. Walking dead. With the final question and current leader of most comments of the day of ever ever yes because he goes because <laughs> he he watches and as he's watching he leaves a comment and I love it and then we get to a new topic and he leaves a he comment. he even apologizes last time he goes yeah. I'm sorry I'm commenting yeah, yeah. as I'm watching I'm like don't apologize yeah. we love it it's don't, awesome don't apologize don't keep going keep doing it You're I wish it. more people would, would comment yeah. as the new topics because the more comments we get the more the algorithm is like. Whoa. I know you probably were thinking about the algorithm. People but... are really digging this. Let's yeah. push it out there so more people see this. Exactly. That's exactly how you should watch YouTube videos. 100%. You're doing so great. You Thank are, you, sir. You are doing us a super solid favor, Mr. Walking Dead, by leaving small little one-sentence comments. You know, it's blah, blah, blah. Nothing big. And I read them, so I like it. It's great. Mm -hmm. I do too. But it also feeds the algorithm, so great. Mm -hmm. Walking Dead. So when you going to braid that beard, Ryan? That I know you thought about it. Of the day too. LOL. <clears throat> <clears throat> we already we've already done it. We have. She's already braided it. So for me. so what you're saying is you want to see it on video yeah. where he's sitting and maybe that could be tomorrow's vlog. I was gonna I originally was gonna be like, alright, we're gonna do this. Because lately I've been wearing I got a little rubber band that I wear, mm -hmm. you know, because I kinda cause it Because it would diminish his it. beard. Because his beard is it's thick, but it's not yeah. ridiculously thick yeah the longer it gets so, the thinner it gets so. so whenever if it's even like that much taken away from it it you know it starts to diminish quite a bit so if we did a little bit it would just be like this really long like 
what is it, goatee thing, Q Man Two <laughs> type looking. Yeah, whatever. We have done it before, but the, the the problem is, but then you still have these fluffy sides up here. Yeah, so, it, so it was, it's I would have here. to like French braid this down like that in order for it to to look right. Yeah, because so I have like one look, one braid here, but then it's all puffy. So he doesn't look like a you know one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence <laughs> where they had yeah. the big old mutton chops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we tried it once while about, hey, why don't you try to braid this? Like, okay. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, there's definitely enough to braid. Oh, yeah. And have it's a braid. Cool. Like, it's, there's it needs to be Viking, though, where you have one going down one side and one yeah. going down the other. And, and then, need some Viking and, beads. And then the group, then the ponytail in the middle where it's like. Yeah. Then you look like a biker. <laughs> right. You look like a biker. Now I gotta, now I gotta brush. Yeah, you gotta make sure. When are we gonna do it on screen, is what you're saying. Okay, yeah. Or have it to where you show up on screen with it braided so they can actually see it. Because yeah. even though we've done it, they don't have You've not seen video it. Video proof. Yeah, maybe next time. Yeah. We'll see. And that's the final question. Thank you guys so much. If you have a question for next week, please leave it down below and we'll try to answer that. And if you made it this far into the video, mm. we have a little game called Secret Hashtag of the Day. Y'all have seen it if you're paying attention. That uh, you type with your question or comment or by yourself so that everyone knows you're in the secret club of elite RNA music family and friends and supporters. And today, that secret hashtag is hashtag braids. No? I would say braided beard. Hashtag braided beard or hashtag Viking beard. Yeah. Or I was even thinking like it'd be like a long one so that they'd have to type it out. Like make them work for it. Mm hmm. Like lion, bear, eagle, tiger. <laughs> Hashtag lion, bear, eagle, tiger. <laughs> I love that. That definitely wins over hashtag braid. So hashtag lion, bear, eagle, tiger. <laughs> gonna make you work for it, but we'll get know. a shirt that says that. That's gonna be awesome. This be like hashtag lion, bear, eagle, tiger. Like a really small. <laughs> yes. Some weird hybrid of all four of those animals. Yeah. <laughs> That's the secret hashtag of the day. Like, okay. Leave that down below and we'll know that you watched this entire video to this point. Mm -hmm. And not only will we know it, but you'll know it and all the other yes, real you know. Facebook, or not Facebook, real, you know, Arnie Music family, <laughs> friends, supporters, yeah. encouragers, y'all yeah. all know who's, who's the real deal there. Legit. I actually watched someone else's video yesterday and they were doing a thing. It was Robert Baker. Cause he's got a new studio. They moved out of the house yes, and, that I saw, and I was I like, saw oh, and then it was saying, hey, if you watch this whole thing, hashtag. And I was like, Robert stole that from me. <laughs> no, he didn't. Everybody does a hashtag. No, no, but I've been doing it first. No. I've been doing it the longest. <laughs> Robert stole it from me, but we're friends. So I'm going to let him have it. I'm not even going to charge him for that. Everybody does hashtags. Well, they all owe me. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Hashtags at the end of their YouTube videos yes. so that the viewers they were like, hey, the later on, just hashtag Super Saver so that we know that you all watched this video. People have been doing that forever, honey. No, but I did it first. Okay, that's what matters. Hashtag Lion Bear Eagle Tiger. Yeah. And Lion until Bear, until the next video from us, which is probably a vlog, yes. it'll probably come out on <laughs> Sunday. Yeah. This will probably come out. Tomorrow or tonight, I don't know. Whichever. So you got a double decker weekend. Yeah, whichever one. I think I learned if I publish these too late in the evening, they don't give as many views. Mm -hmm. Versus they, if they come out like six a.m., they seem to get more views. Gotcha. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. The algorithm doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> as if it ever did. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. The music needs you. And you need the music. What are you doing? I'm gonna do an Insta story real quick. Oh, Insta stories. So y'all can be a part of it, and y'all could be like, "Hey, on it's gonna RNA. RNA, yeah." Oh yeah, and if you don't follow us on Instagram, go to Instagram and follow RNA Music on the Instagrams, on the yeah. grams. So they Ow, you oh, pinched my finger. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pinch. Ah, yay! That's this, my guitar this finger. Also up close, doing, yeah. And there y'all are. There you are. We're talking to you through there in the matrix. The Matrix has you. There we go. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Did we, did we finish our home? The yeah. music needs you. And, and you need the music. And you need to keep it alive for the next generation. That's right. The finger smashers. Sorry. I love your fingers. Uh, <laughs> and we'll see y'all later. Texas Bye. Trucks.
boys around here. Oh no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Driving them big old trucks. Big old truck. Blue jeans. <laughs> Drinking beer and down Macau by the river. With the tractor. <laughs> hay, bales of hay. In the barn. In the barn with my girl. Apple and bottom and jeans. Bottle beer and barbecue. Dirty boots. <laughs> dirty boots. Red river. Red river dirty boots. That's and a song. kissing under the That's stars. <laughs> At night or big and bright, deep in the heart, Texas. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs>